Let's go through how to complete a job using the checkout process, add billable items to invoice, and send the invoice to the client, all with the ServiceMate app. You can always find the job you're currently checked into here, at the top of your Jobs tab. When you've finished work on site, tap Checkout, then Job Complete. Here, you have the option to add a note for the job's diary. Then comes the billing stage, where you add a description of the work done and build the invoice. Start by tapping Work Completed and enter a description of work you want to show on the invoice. This can be brief or detailed. Supplied and installed new mixer in bathroom. Next, we'll add what we want to charge the client for. Depending on your business, you may want to charge for individual labour and material items, preset service packages you've created, or new items or services you create on the spot. Tap here to add an item. If you've synced items from your accounting software or you've imported an item list, you can browse them or search. To add an item to the job, tap it, then save. You can create a new item by tapping here and filling in the item details and price. When it comes to labour, you can charge your time based on ServiceMate's time tracking. Tap Smart Labour, select a labour rate, set the rounding, and decide whether to include your travel time to site. Then tap Set Labour. Once you're done adding items, make sure Produce Invoice is switched on, then tap Finish. This completes the job and produces the PDF invoice, ready to send to the client. Use the invoice actions to draft an SMS or email to the client. ServiceMate populates the client's details, the subject line, and the message. You can add any photos or attachments saved to the job diary and edit the message. Once you're happy, tap send to email the invoice. It's best to both email and text the invoice. With that done, the job status has now changed to completed and the invoice issued to the client. When checking out of a job which is not finished, tap not complete. Add a note to explain where the job's at. This will show in the job's diary. Then decide how you want to manage the job to keep it moving forward. You can schedule it for another visit or send the job to a queue. Since we said this job needs more time on site, we'll schedule another visit.